So I feel like what God is demonstrating here in Alaska is significant for the entire United States. Well, remember with wind walkers, we've all always seen that what happens there in Alaska, the wind blows it down into the uh, uh, mainland here. And that becomes so important for us to understand that because the spirit of God there, when the spirit of God is moving in Alaska, I believe the wind of the spirit will be blown. Let me show you all. I don't think I've done this with uh, Alaska, but let me show you what the Lord showed me when Dutch and I were in South Carolina this year in, uh, I think it was July. Uh, the Lord caught me up. And I know I've shared it publicly, but it's very important to Alaska because I saw, first of all, four ruling angels surrounding America. And that angel at the top was aligned where Alaska and Maine meet in the atmosphere. And so I believe that's very important also that we understand that the ruling angel from the north is uh, a, a some way aligned with what is happening there in Alaska. Then all of a sudden, 51 angels entered in and surrounded uh, uh, America. And for the first time I knew as we were headed into this year that we're in, America was surrounded by angelic activity. And Mary, I really think what you're describing is uh, the portion of that activity that is dwelling over that northern part ruled by that ruling angel that God has sent. These are governmental angels. They're uh, more like seraphim that have commanding glory to them. And, and I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt, there were 51 angels. I, I have no idea. I didn't have to count them. I just knew. And what the Lord said, beginning at Passover, these angels would start being assigned to each state. And then I saw uh, these ruling forces were assigned geographically to command this angelic activity in America, beginning after Passover. So I really believe what you're sensing is where we're headed as a nation. Now, these angels all had their... Um, their swords in their sheath. And what the Lord said was after April, uh, these angels would be sent one by one in his time to each state. And they would determine whether they kept the sword in their sheath or where they pulled the sword out and went to war over what was set against him from moving from state to state to state. See, I believe in Alaska, you are moving with him. So I, I really believe that after Passover, you guys are going to start really seeing an incredible activity in the spirit like you've never seen before. Amen. That goes so well with the encounter that I had after the, after the uh, Holy Ghost and fire encounter uh, while I was in the encounter, the Lord said, open up your spirit eyes, turn and look. And when I turned to look, I saw these chariots of fire surrounding Alaska. And I said, Lord, what are these? And he said, these are my angels of fire that need to be released over the state mm -hmm. and over the nation and nations of the earth for the war at hand and the war that is to come. And so we uh, released uh, those uh, angels of fire over Alaska. And I believe that before this a uh, broadcast is over, it would be important for us to release those uh, angels of fire over the nation as well. Well, I think what, what you're going to see and what we can do from uh, Alaska, 
uh, Eleanor, is really decree that this mobilization of an angelic activity that Mary heard and you saw will begin to be active after Passover. And I'm not sure that how you guys move there in Alaska is so key for our whole nation starting uh, at the end of April. And so we want to really decree that you accelerate in your movement and the activity of supernatural activity over you accelerate beginning in April, at the end of April, and there comes an advancement. I think then you're going, let me prophesy, you guys are going to have an open door to uh, other states to go in and share the model of uh, mobilization of the supernatural. You're not going to just share the model of what we've taught all these years. You're going to say, this is how God is ready to mobilize the supernatural charge that Lord Sabaoth has sent over your state. It's very much like what Mary heard. And yet you'll be able to say to do this, you're going to have to certain set certain things in order. You have to have your spiritual government in order. You have to know where your leadership of the tribes are. You're going to have to know how to communicate quickly. See, I believe you are setting up a prototype that will be modeled in other states. Amen. Amen. Yes, it's amazing what we've been seeing already as far as um, going out to uh, villages um, online and the people that are partnering with us in prayer. Part, part of the move as far as what we've been doing is taking the prophetic words that have been uh, spoken over Alaska uh, by you, by Dutch, by others, by prophets that are here in Alaska, by Mary and Eleanor, Judith Green and others, and we're taking them down and revisiting those words and, and uh, also causing um, gathering up the watchmen intercessors to begin to pray and decree over those words. We're decreeing them on the air, on the war council, and stirring that up again for a move of God uh, in our intercessory time with Eleanor and I praying on the mountain here. Um, it's interesting that Normally, when I get a prophetic word, I see a vision, and then God begins to um, share what he's saying about the vision. But I had this vision, and I began to hear at the same time. So it was a vision, and I heard. And this is what I saw. I saw and heard seven cannons blast three times in a row. So it was boom, 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 boom. And then that happened three times in a row, which is... Uh, 21 times, and the blast hit different parts of Alaska, strategic areas of our state. And as the blast hit, fireballs began to erupt and spread. I asked the Lord, what is this? And he said, it is my 21-gun salute over Alaska. Wow. I'm sending my glory explosions to Alaska to overcome the enemy that has claimed territory that does not belong to him. I have come to take it back with the manifestation of my glory throughout the state. I am recognizing my people to take back the natural and spiritual territory. I have proclaimed that Alaska is my glory state, and now I will manifest my glory in my sons and daughters. And I just, uh, just in that, I feel that God's glory is going out to different places of the earth or in Alaska, and people are beginning to rise up, take their position, and take the territory back for Alaska and for our nation. 